All right, hey everybody. Wanted to kind of walk through what my plan is for the rear suspension at this point. So up here on the top, this is what was there. This is basically the leaf spring that we cut down here, drilled a hole for the air shock. This is the block for the lowering kit. Uh, so what we have here now is a new Johnny joint, square tube, uh, threaded adapter the square tube two inch by two inch is about the same size as this however it is a quarter inch thick completely overkill but this is uh, made for a one and a half inch thick shaft and I wanted a two inch by two inch exterior so went with quarter inch thick like I said way overkill for a golf cart very heavy um, but that's what I went uh, got the jam nut here for once we get everything put together. But the plan is um, we have this welded by a friend, and we are going to once it's all welded, screw this in, kind of figure out the length, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the back off of this so that it's about the same length, you know, from the eye to the end, and then we will take and cut at an angle, so kind of like here. We'll cut at an angle on the bar, and I'll I'll show this to you all um, when it's when it's done before I put it in. Um, also, we will take this off. We'll unbolt that, and we'll bolt it onto here, as well as drilling a hole through the bottom so that the axle will uh, seat into the square tubing like it's supposed to. Um, I might have to grind down the inner part of the of the edge just to clear the shock, but. Uh, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Like I said, I'll show you what it looks like before I put it in um, when I'm done cutting and, and drilling. All right, here we go. Get ready to put them back in. Here's the stripped out cut leaf spring. This is the completed lower two or two link piece. Um, jam nut. Move the dowel from here onto here. Drill this out back here for the uh, shock mount same thing on that side once we get the other side out I'll move the dowel over didn't want to didn't want to have both sides unbolted at the same time as a Afraid something might happen. So just doing one side at a time uh, We'll see how all it right. goes like I Told you all before this has been a multi-day filming experience. So if I show you anything I've already shown you I apologize um, So I guess we'll start here from the front. We've got the Johnny joints uh, mounted up in here with M12 bolts. Uh, you can see the jam nut. Probably should have cut this bar a little bit shorter. I was measuring it up against the uh, leaf spring with the block, the lowering block. Um, what I didn't really account for very well was the curvature of the leaf spring because um, it wasn't flat. So this, fortunately, I wanted, I did this on purpose. One, so I could hopefully center these tires in uh, the wheel well a little bit better over time as I drive it and figure out how much more I need to shorten it. Kind of wish I had gone maybe a half an inch shorter overall. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at with those. You can see down here, we taper down and you see the shock bolt is not in line with the shock. So that's because it bent. So I'm probably going to get new shocks, but I'm going to drive it like this for a little bit just to see how it handles with the new suspension um, the only other thing that I really had to do here um, was if you look I was hoping to get this off I got a little, little bit of a hurry and put it on but I had to notch this little bit here to clear the brake line cable bracket um, but yeah other than that um, I needed some slightly shorter bolts for this bottom plate to go on. Um, these are still the old bolts. I haven't replaced those. Wasn't able to get them. You can see that's loose. I'm not able to tighten it all the way, so I had to get some shorter bolts. Um, but I'm gonna get those bolts in and take it for a spin. I think I'm gonna have to readjust the brake cable. You can see this is the new brake cable. I'm gonna have to, you know, get it that up in there and attach it. Um, but you see it flies all the way down comes up here it's still very flimsy 
because it is intended for the shuttle cart. Um, but everything clears. I just need to get it zip tied enough out of the way so that I don't drag it along the ground to run it over. So we'll check back in right. later with more updates. We are back again. Uh, like I said, I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat the same thing over and over again. Um, looking up underneath here, uh, I figure for anybody following along, I would take some measurements real quick. Uh, I did get a chance to drive yesterday um, after I got everything bolted together. I didn't film. I, I'm going to try and film later this weekend. Uh, but I thought I'd take some measurements just for anyone following along at home wanting to uh, do this themselves. I'll say the, the test drive went absolutely fantastic. Um, it felt like a go-kart high center of gravity go-kart but it felt like a go-kart driving now i think part of that is because i also switched the bags to independent four corners uh instead of front and rear control i think that had a lot to do with it but um these johnny joints are a lot a lot stiffer than what we saw with the uh worn out uh you can see here i still got it sitting there this worn out you know rubber bushing from the leaf springs so uh, let me take a couple of measurements here. I don't know how well that looks. Let's see. What are we pointing at? Hopefully you can see. I'll talk through it. But from the center of the eye here to about where the eye is uh, or the dowel is for the axle is about 13 and a quarter inches and the hole for the air shock is about 18 and a half inches. Uh, that's from the center line of the Johnny joint bolt. So you can tell, um, I think if you're gonna do this, you might wanna cut it a little bit shorter than I did. Um, at least the overall block you see here, I've only got, oh, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, an inch worth of thread left um, to tighten this up if I wanna move it forward which is probably more than enough that I need, given where the wheels are sitting when this is down. Uh, I'll try to take a picture of that before I go for my next drive. Um, but yeah, no, super happy. Um, like I said, it was, it was like driving a go-kart when I, when I went out for my first drive. Um, super, super responsive and handling. Um, didn't feel like any of the body roll that I used to feel. Uh, very, very comfortable driving at speed now. Um, so yeah, so that was fantastic. All right, I wanted to walk you through the latest. Um, a lot of the parts are off. Um, I'm getting ready for the new body. I think I'm gonna do a new body in the back. Um, your tail lights were crooked. That was always bothering me. Um, we cut that notch a little too big, um, maybe a little in the wrong spot, so we might try to fix that with the new body. Um, same thing here, if you notice. That's cracked here, um, obviously probably because I cut this all the way. If you look here, I uh, didn't need to cut all of that off. Um, we could have probably just notched it all the way up to the top edge and maybe a little bit on the back edge and it still would have cleared this. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, if you can see here, you know, I've got a fair amount of space to go forward and when the bags are up or the cart is up, the motor is dragging against the back of the body. So I'm gonna jack the back end up and bring the axle forward, uh, probably a quarter to a half an inch. Um, we'll see where that um, gets us. Um, you can see here too, uh, where the wheel sits in the back of the body. Um, hopefully we'll be able to bring that forward a little bit, center it up, give us a little more clearance back here. Um, but I guess we'll find out shortly. All right, so we just wrapped up shifting the uh, two link uh, joints about a quarter inch forward. So any measurements you might have seen earlier in this video, drop a quarter inch off of them. As you can see now, we are very, very close on everything here. Uh, it doesn't look like anything is hitting. I might have gone one turn too far, but it looks like we're okay. Yeah, that clears. Um, so yeah, so that is 
perfect. Um, you can see we've got decent tuck. Uh, it's a little bit better centered. I wouldn't mind going forward more, but uh, there's no way that motor is going to clear if I go forward any farther. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this way this came out. Um, don't really have any room to go lower with the motor unless we start to really work work things in there. Um, so yeah, so look look forward to future videos where I talk more about uh, the Lazy Life seats that I got. Um, I'm gonna get a custom mat, try and get it to match the Lazy Life seats. Uh, and when I get my new blue body on and the black roof that I ordered, um, should look pretty good.